Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. The first card we have is the Moon here. So um, Aquarius, what I feel is that this person right now is um, either they're not, no, I wouldn't say that. I think uh, I was going to say that this person is very indecisive or uh, this person isn't sure about what they feel about you. But I wouldn't say that because of the next card that I'm seeing, which I will show you in a second. I feel that this person here is surrounded with a lot of fear, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. This person probably is a negative thinker. So when it comes to you, this person is constantly doubting. Now, either there has been something that was done in the past because of which this person probably has security issues with you or they have trust issues with you. I feel this person doesn't trust you. They feel there's a lot going on behind the scenes that they don't know about, which is why they're not in that jump in impulsive energy out here. But yes, there is a lot of doubt. It's like that foggy energy, you know, they're mentally very, very foggy. They're not sure about what's really going on. Uh, this is doubt, actually. Fear also. Yes, fear is holding them back. It's like, you know, they don't know what's going to happen next with you. Uh, like I said, for a lot of you, maybe they've had a bad experience with someone else or a bad experience with you, which is stopping them from completely getting clarity. So there's a lot of lack of clarity in their mind right now. In their feelings with the judgment here, this is the second card that I was talking about, which is why I feel that this person knows they want a reconciliation with you, but they're still that, there's still that unsure, uh, unsurety. Okay? There's still that lack of clarity. They think everything is not out in the open, you know, like everything's not on the table for them to make a very uh, clear cut decision about what they want to do with you or how they want to go about with it. If things have been dead between you both, then this person definitely wants a rebirth of this connection. This person wants a reconciliation. They want to bring back this relationship from the dead. If you're already in a relationship, this person does have their doubts about you. Maybe they feel that there is something that you're doing behind the scenes. Uh, maybe they feel that they don't know everything or they don't just know what's going on uh, from your side out here. But yeah, I'd say doubt, okay, which is kind of making the very, very indecisive here. But yes, I do feel that um, there's a lot of anxiety out here, okay. They're kind of delusional is what I'd say. But yes, emotionally, they're very foggy, which is leading to indecision. With the judgment here, they definitely have a lot of awakening and a lot of realizations or this person here does want a reconciliation. I like the Queen of Pentacles in their feelings because either you are already married to this person or this person is married. If not, this person definitely sees you as marriage material. They see you as a spouse. They see you as someone very stable, very secure, uh, very motherly, very nurturing, very caring. For a few of you, I'm getting that you could have been the one who walked away from this connection because you wanted marriage, because you wanted commitment or because this person um, uh, didn't do justice to you. I'm getting for a few of you that this person here could have been someone who was not balanced when it came to giving and receiving. So they would always want to take more and they would give less. So out of both of you, you were always more on the giving Okay, and they were the takers. So one person always received more and the other person less here is what I'm getting. So yes, from this person's side here, I feel there was a lot of abuse of power. Um, there was a lot of uh, lack of reciprocity, lack of appreciation. Now this time around here in their feelings, they want the reciprocity uh, of love. They want to appreciate you. Whatever they want to give you, right? They want, they're willing to invest into the future of the connection with no strings attached is what I'm getting here. Um... If the uh, if how if uh, they were not uh, they, they want to practically invest into this connection is what I'm getting. Now let's see why they feel that. Why is the moon here? I mean, they could, for a lot of you, they could have taken advantage of your nature. Okay, your good nature, your giving nature out here. I mean, they could have literally treated you like a doormat. What's the moon here? A lot of taking advantage. What's the moon here? Eight of Cups, they're not sure about contacting you. They want to contact you with the Four of Wands here. If you're married to them, they want to celebrate with you. They want, uh, to, um, they want to celebrate with you. They want to be happy with you. They want to maintain the marriage. If you are not married to them, then this person wants to reach out. They want to regain the stability and security in this connection. If they haven't given it to you, then this is what's on their mind with the Four of Wands here. They want a reunion. They want to get back to you. 
and uh, with a page of cups here they want to reach out to you but they're still very unsure about what your reaction is going to be yeah but they're, they're doubting it they're doubting if you're going to accept them but if you're going to take them back or uh, you'll just probably cut them off because that's in their feelings they want a second chance here what's the uh, queen of pentacles They have good intentions for sure. What's the Queen of Pentacles? They want to invest into you. Eight of Cups. So in the past, I feel they could have walked away from commitment. Or you could have walked away from this connection because they weren't giving you commitment. But now they walked away. They probably could have explored their options. This is for a few of you who know about this. Or they could have just walked away saying, you know, uh, I feel for a lot of you, you could have walked away. I don't know what I'm getting. I'm getting that this person didn't give you commitment, so you walked away from this connection here. Because it was just an energy. It was a situation where something was just not serving you. Okay. So yeah, you could have walked away from this connection in the past because they weren't giving you commitment. Or they could have walked away from the pa from this connection because they couldn't give you commitment. Okay. They weren't ready for it. Now they want a reconciliation because there's been a lot of realizations, like a huge awakening, you know, like an aha moment, like, guess what? Like, I want you. I want to be with you. But yes, no matter what they want with you, their approach is still very indecisive. It's still very uh, uh, foggy. It's like a very 50-50. And it's all again because of their fears. What are this person's intentions towards Aquarius? Intentions towards Aquarius? Yeah. Um, I feel in the past something could have ended very badly between you both. So I do feel that this could have been an ending over, which is very painful, all right? Uh, this is an energy where you could have, one person felt very backstabbed, betrayed, cheated in the connection. Uh, a person could be hosting their own pity party out here, okay? But in their intentions here, they know something ended between you both here, okay? Something just crashed. And I also feel with the Ten of Swords here that this person here, whatever happened, right? Whatever happened between you both here, a breakup, separation, divorce, whatever that is, right? It had a very disturbing effect in their head, okay? This is something that has disturbed them very badly, okay? It's like they mentally hit rock bottom and something just was, came to a dead end between you both. Like, you know, it was like hit rock bottom out here. Yes, they realized that you guys did go through a rough patch, okay, in this connection. With the two of cups here in their intentions, they want to have a relationship with you. If you're not in a relationship with them, they want to date you. They want a relationship with you. This is where they see you as uh, the one for them. They see that you both make a badass couple together. If you're in a relationship with them and things are uh, pretty, there's a rough patch you're going on with, then this person wants to reconcile with you, okay? They want to be with you and they have a lot of love for you and... And they just want to balance out the situation. They want that equal give and take, which I told you before also. They want to give in as much emotions as you were giving in in the past year. With the chariot here and their intentions, this time around here, they are very determined, very, very um, strong-willed very strong will to make it happen between you both. So I feel that for a few of you, this person did have the willingness to overcome any obstacles or challenges that came between you both. Distance, physical distance for a few of you is what I'm getting. That this person, your physical distance could have been a big challenge out here. This could be a long distance relationship out here. Now, this time around here, this person has, is like in like that full throttle, you know, it's like they're like that, that full blown power and they're like, I don't care what happens. I'm ready to overcome any obstacles that come between you and me. So if you've had an ending, the, the, the queries that I'm reading for, if something ended badly between you both here, this person wants to get that back around. They want a reconciliation in their feelings. Uh, they know you walked away here, um, but they... I'm not saying they want commitment, okay? I'm not saying they want commitment yet. They probably are on their way to commitment here, but at least they want to start off with the Two of Cups here. They definitely want relationship or they definitely want that emotional exchange, okay? It's where you guys can again be back as a couple together. However, with the temperance here, this person wants to do it very, very peacefully. They, uh, their approach towards, the, in their intention, their approach towards this is very cool, calm, selected, very composed. They don't want no drama. If you have been someone who's been creating too much drama in this person's life, then this person hates drama. 
uh, that's just uh, a heads up, okay? This person here could be even wanting a live-in relationship, which is as good as a marriage. That's one thing I'm getting for a few of you. This person likes to keep it very, very peaceful, okay? They, they would like to be very relaxed, very cool, okay? And uh, that's the kind of approach here. So, yes, they're determined to make it happen with you here, but in a very um, quiet way. They don't, uh, they're not coming towards you with those huge, big displays of emotions, no. Maybe you've done that, which is why this this person is not like that, okay? Uh, for a lot of you, I'm getting that you were the one who had that, uh, like this, uh, like you were very overwhelmed with your emotions, so which is why you gave a lot to this person here. This person wasn't ready for it or they couldn't handle it here. Now the realizations are there and now this person wants it with you, okay? But yeah, don't expect a very uh, dramatic, um, don't expect dramatic communication from this person or any kind of dramatic actions or intentions from them what's the ten of swords why is the ten of swords here you guys are not on the same page and maybe someone turned their back you guys were not on the same page okay and there were a lot of conflicts out here uh, other people could be interfering in their relationship too many people involved here or there was just too much struggle too much strife too much competition maybe you guys were constantly competing maybe you guys were pro constantly trying to show each other down ego clashes uh you know you guys uh, your personalities were absolutely different is also what i'm getting here there was a lot of external conflict okay or there was just conflict between you and them here but i feel with the three of wands here the conflict uh, there was an ending here because someone probably just turned their back around okay it's like you know what i'm done waiting maybe this person made you wait for a very long time is also what i'm getting there was there's this waiting energy out here it's like i'm fed up of waiting I i'm done i'm moving on that's what I'm getting here. So yeah, this person here is ready to make it happen with you. Expect small communication here, not very dramatic. But uh, yeah, they're coming in, the, their feelings, they want this reconciliation here. Uh, and their intentions, like I said, they want to make it happen with you. Okay, but yeah. Actions speak louder than words. Like I said, this is just their feelings and intentions. I haven't done their actions out here. But yeah, that's what it is. So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Next time, bye-bye. Next time, bye-bye. Next time, bye-bye.